topic of today guys electrolytes what are they what do i need them for why am i even talking about them how do you get them what are the best forms to get them in or in their best forms what? why am i even talking about them why 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 would anybody be talking about electrolytes i mean just the word electrolytes i don't think i've ever heard a pickup line starting us hey what kind of electrolytes do you consume <clears throat> sodium potassium magnesium boron calcium how about you Sequence yeah guys, so today you're going to be learning all about electrolytes. So at its most basic, electrolytes are basically you do everything. These trace minerals are all over your cells and in your entire body. They help contract muscles, help regulate your immune system, help regulate daily activities, control your body temperature, help with energy production. If you're having cramps, that's probably due to electrolyte imbalance. They help regulate your nervous system, your cardiac system. Electrolytes are involved in all of our cells. So needless to say, they are super, super important for every single bodily function that you have. Now, why would we want that? Cells run your entire body period. So that's why you need them. And that's why they're super important. Cool. End of video. We're done. So it's no question why electrolytes are super important. They just, they're going to help you out with your everyday basic daily functions. They are super, super important. So getting as much of these electrolytes or getting a good balance of these electrolytes is important. I'm going to be entering a marathon pretty soon. It's going to be my first half marathon. So I'm super excited. And at the same time, I want to make sure I have all my bases covered over the past couple of days i've noticed that i've been sweating massive amounts nice. and with that sweat comes the loss of a lot of electrolytes so it's important that i regain these that way i can go ahead and just go about and doing my everyday going to work working out being able to function properly mentally physically in any in every aspect electrolytes are super important for anything and everything that you do they make up our cells guys just just process that thought for a quick second. And one of the ways that electrolytes are carried throughout the body or the way we consume them is through water. Water, remember, makes up about 70% of our bodies. And so when we sweat a lot, we excrete a lot of water. And when this happens, we also excrete some of these electrolytes. We also cause free radical damage. We cause a bunch of stuff when we do this. I started looking a little bit more and more into what was causing me to feel really bad, was causing me to feel feel maybe a little low, feel like I had poor energy production, didn't feel as strong. Even though I ate quite a bit, I just didn't feel ready to go. So over time, I started to dig in more and more and more into the electrolyte consumption that I had and go figure. I ended up finding that I just wasn't consuming enough electrolytes or wasn't consuming enough electrolytes from my foods, which is where you usually get them. So I needed to supplement with some kind of form of electrolytes. Now, the most common forms of electrolytes, there's a bunch, but the most common ones that you will hear about sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, chloride, manganese iodine and several others those are the most common ones that you'll usually see but in today's video for just time saving purposes we're going to be talking about three the three main ones that have helped me with my current level of exercise and this is why i'm doing this video guys i wanted to tell you guys what's been working for me with my carnivore diet or being my carnivore ish diet because remember i am not fully going fully carnivore anymore due to my time my running my work and all the extracurricular activities that i do throughout the day i need some kind of form of fast acting carbohydrates and along with that i need other forms of electrolytes to go ahead and supplement my daily needs my daily my everyday functions the three main elements that i'm going to be talking about sodium potassium and magnesium those are the three main ones that i'm going to be talking about today now why am i going to be talking about these because i believe that these are the most important ones that you will usually see in most places the first one that we're going to be starting off with is magnesium now there's a bunch of different forms of magnesium i don't know if you guys have ever tried lurking for a magnesium supplement you can get headaches at looking at all the different types of magnesium there are but for today's purposes once again we're only going to be dialing it down to about four we're going to go with four these are going to be magnesium chloride magnesium tarate magnesium glycinate and magnesium three and eight now these are the better forms in my opinion of magnesium and it's not that one is better than the other i think they just can be used for different purposes at different times now i'm going to start off with my magnesium tarate 
Magnesium tarate is actually very, very good for you, especially if you're doing any kind of muscle activity. It helps a lot with muscle contractions. So if you're somebody that's into sports or doing something very heavily, I think this is a great form of magnesium for you. If you are somebody that just wants magnesium for the relaxation part of it, because magnesium helps out with muscle relaxation pretty well. And it helps if you're somebody that's a little bit on the edge a lot of the times, it has to do it. it magnesium is one good way to go ahead and calm you down in the form of that magnesium is magnesium glycinate. Magnesium glycinate helps out tremendously with this. I usually take it before going to bed and that puts me in another cloud. Literally, I can definitely feel the difference in rest that I have. I just feel like I pass out. And trust me, you will sleep like a baby that night. Now, magnesium chloride is a super cheap form of this. And it also, I think it, it, it kind of covers all the bases. That's why I think it's the, the shotgun approach of magnesium. It's pretty good at all, all these things. And it just, and it does the job so well. It just helps out at relaxing, bowel movements, with your muscles, with your brain, basically all of it. And then you have the other form, magnesium three and eight helps out with the brain. It's a little bit different than all the other magnesiums because it just goes straight into your brain, just like a very sharp response curve in your brain. It's actually pretty cool. So if you ever give it a shot, you'll see that you're a little bit sharper, you're a little bit more reactive, and that's what that type of magnesium helps out for. Now we're gonna be talking about sodium and potassium. Kind of don't want to go into too much of the different forms that these can be acquired in but all you need to know is that the easiest form to find sodium in is sodium chloride and that's basically salt you ideally want to get salt that has a bunch of minerals in it like sea salt celtic salt um, redmond real salt i personally use redmond real salt i know a lot of people use himalayan salt but these salts are becoming more and more contaminated due to byproducts of, uh, of the human industrialization, you know, such as the seas having microplastics, a uh, bunch of pollutants in them. Pink Himalayan salt is also not excluded from all that. So that it's not bad. It's way better than regular just um, table iodized salt. And if you don't know what that is, it's just the regular salt that you usually kind of find everywhere. It was just basically stripped of all its minerals and was left with iodine and basically um, sodium chloride. That's basically all it is. So in my opinion, you're better off getting a high quality sea salt. Now, potassium, here's the really, really good one. There's several different forms of potassium, again, that we won't be going into, but the one form that you wanna find your potassium in is in potassium chloride. That's all you kinda need to know. The reason is it can get, the, the sodium to potassium uh, conversation can be super, super lengthy, guys. Just like the, the, the magnesium one, I think there's a lot more to discuss on that magnesium in regards to what types, but the way that sodium and potassium interact is can be very, very simple and very, very complex. So so the best thing that you can do is just get a, uh, get your potassium as potassium chloride and you should be good. Sodium and potassium act together. So there has to be a balance between these. And you would say, well, I just do bodybuilding. I don't sweat that much or I don't whatever your excuses. Sodium and potassium are super essential. Think about it this way. If one of them, sodium, sends the order and potassium resets that order from set point. Let's say you want it to flex your bicep. You wanted to do this. And yes, I'm flexing for the camera right now. Sodium would give that order of flex, but without potassium, it would never be able to return that to its set position, which in this case would be a relaxed position. We would never be able to have that. So one of them actually sends the order, the execution, and then the other one relaxes everything. So as you can see, there has to be a really good balance between both of these. You can have sodium without having potassium. And if you have too much potassium, then that's also a problem. So the battle has always been to consistently have a good balance of this. With, with a lot of sodium, you'll be able to keep all the water in your body and the potassium will help you retain all your minerals. That way you're not excreting them every time you go to the restroom. So you, as you can see, it's very, very important that you have both of these. And all these three, sodium, potassium, and magnesium, make a super good trifecta, I think, when it comes to sports and nutrition. And I think this is something that's super overlooked for everyday function, especially if you are somebody that is doing fasting and you've ever felt like crap, that you don't have enough energy, you feel a little foggy, or you just 
don't feel like you have the energy, that is probably due to an electrolyte imbalance. If you've ever done a really extreme fast and you felt that your heart is palpitating rapidly, that's probably, that's a sign of potassium, a very low potassium. And you should look into that guys. So let me give you some of these side effects. Say this super quick. Sodium plays a super important part when it comes to your you know, central nervous system. It is super important, which is why I have it in this list. If you don't have enough of it, it could cause tiredness, confusion, dehydration, stroke. It, it, it's super, super important guys. Potassium, we can go a little bit more into the cardiac. So again, once again, if you feel like, like you're, you're palpitating too much, that is usually a, a sign of very low potassium. If you're getting cramps, your bowel movements are very irregular. That's usually a sign of very low potassium and you should definitely get that addressed as soon as possible, guys. Low magnesium, if you have tremors, if you're somebody that's super uneasy all the time, cause confusion. And this actually goes in, into a little bit more of the neurological sense of your body, which is why magnesium takes care of the neurological portion, potassium more like cardiac, and sodium I think handles the more central, the central nervous system. Them. I think these are the three ones that you should be looking into in all your supplement. So come on Z, wrap it up. What are we what are we talking about here? What supplements are you going to recommend? So I cannot recommend anything obviously, but this is some of the stuff that I use or this is some of the stuff that has worked for me. First company that is actually super good is LMNT and I think LMNT is one of the better ones in my opinion. Again, just because it has those three electrolytes that I think are super, super important. It has sodium, potassium, and magnesium. I think those are the best ones and it has them in really good ratios. The forms, the bioavailability forms of these, that company I think is one of the most, I guess you could say mainstream ones, but it's also very expensive. It's really hard for me to justify that price tag. Second one, one of my, one of my favorite ones, none. None, this is, it's not the best out there, but it's definitely a lot cheaper and it has all you need. It has sodium, potassium, magnesium. It has several forms of potassium, several forms of magnesium, which I think has a little bit more of that shotgun approach. And it has a couple of other mi uh, minerals in there that I think are also very important or that can definitely help. And what you also don't want is a supplement that just has this shotgun approach of everything in it, which is what, what you would think, you know? Why wouldn't you just put everything? It also, having a couple of the other electrolytes in there really does mess up the absorption of some of these. So that's why you just don't want that super shotgun approach, just pff, toss everything in there, super high amounts, no. That's not what you want. My preferred company of choice actually, and again, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I keep on coming back to these. This is a company called Trace Minerals. One, it has magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, sulfate, lithium, and boron. And these all together work synergistically pretty well. But I think what's most important uh, out of all of this is that they are super cheap for the amounts that they come in. This bottle on Amazon is about 20 bucks or 22 bucks, which may sound like a lot, but this is about 96 servings per container. And these are way better because one, they are sourced from a really, really good place. And second, they come in liquid form. I think it's really hard to beat the liquid form or from powder to liquid. I, I don't think it just transfers as well. For, for my regular everyday approach, I would just get this. Also, another decent one you could say is Ultima. This is another good one that I use quite a bit and it's basically just for flavorings. Yeah, it does have some of the other stuff like natural flavorings, whatever natural means. What the hell does natural mean anymore? <laughs> Better than, to, than, than having nothing. Now, if you're looking for something just to not get cramps, again, a depletion of sodium, potassium, and magnesium could cause severe cramping, is this one actually, once again, by Trace Minerals. It's called No Muscle Cramps. And it has magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, and sulfate. And these are the amounts it has. And I think this one, has worked really well for me and a lot of my friends. Magnesium has 35 milligrams, chloride, 325 milligrams, sodium, 95 milligrams, potassium, 120 milligrams, sulfate, 20 milligrams. This is, this tastes salty. Now this, the reason why I think a lot, it's this is not as well known and this is not as well known is because the way they taste sucks, guys. There's just no good way of putting it. It sucks, it tastes horrible. That's just, that's just the way it is. So what I do is I use this as a flavoring agent and I add a bunch of both of these and that just covers all my bases. It does a pretty awesome job, guys. That's how I do it. So that is it, guys. This is, that's what I'm taking. This That's why I took the time today to go ahead and make this electrolyte video. I think it's a 
topic that is super important and it's not talked about enough. All of us need it, whether you're fasting, marathon training, bodybuilding, whether you just wanna go on with your everyday life and function properly. These electrolytes are super, super important. They are highly neglected in my opinion. And I think the fact that they're being covered more and more by all these companies such as None, Ultima, LMNT, and you're seeing it way more on the mainstream media, I think it's super awesome. And I think it's gonna help out a lot of people out there that are trying to get their A game on. You know, they had their nutrition on point, but it just wasn't enough. That's why we supplement with these things. They're supplements, guys. So thanks for joining me in another episode of Safe Experience, guys. You guys know what to do. All that cool YouTube algorithm stuff, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, that whole idea, push that notification bell if you haven't already done so, and definitely stay tuned for another video. So stay tuned, guys. Zay, out. Peace.